fucker, man. I get fucking nothing. You tell me who they are. Tell me. Tell me. Who are they? Who are they? Give me the names. Give me the names. Give me the names. You get absolutely nothing from me. Still look like a bloody civil servant who's hogtied to a desk. I go where I'm ordered, Monty. I obey. What's going on? Go back to bed. Who's this? Go back to bed, or just go. When's the wedding? What do you want, Andrew? We have a potential source. Top drawer. They're asking for you, and only you. I'm not interested. It could be big, Monty. Then you're out of luck. I'm retired, remember? Three years now. You bloody signed me off. I did. You shut me down. We protected our ranks. You abandoned me. You were blown. Chief knew we could save you, or... All the operatives I might betray. We didn't think you'd survive. No one ever comes back without a reason. I didn't talk. I believe you. I didn't talk, and I wasn't bloody turned. Yet they sent you back. I escaped. How? Fuck off, Andrew. I did what I could for you, Monty. I got your pension, didn't I? The higher-uppers didn't want that, you know. Cheers. This source... You're wasting your time. No, you're wasting my time. The chief lab, you stopped at the bloody front door. Chief's dead. How? Heart attack. Looks natural, but we're checking, of course. <sighs> Goodbye, Andrew. It's Darius, Monty. It's bloody Darius. He's finally made a mistake. Let's go. I see you still use female drivers. Of course. No one ever thinks a woman would be driving anyone important. Chief's law. No one questions a stereotype. When people think spy, of course, they never really think woman. I wonder how many times that fact may have saved the world. Why weren't you concerned about Amber? Who? The girl. In my place. Why weren't you worried she'd overhear us? Should I have been? No. Because you sent her, didn't you? She bloody works for you. You sent her to keep an eye on me. I believe two eyes was her brief. You bastard. <laughs> this is Darius we're hunting. You really think we wouldn't fucking watch you first? I assume the car's bugged. Of course it bloody is. Motherfuckers! They'll only beep it out. He, uh... Left this for you, by the way. He must have liked you. You think? While you've been away, he sent me to China for 18 months. Chief. I feel it's safe to say we weren't close, Monty. But I still served. I obeyed.
Monty, man. At least show me a bloody face. It's the command centre, is it? Where the wise rule the world. It's a ghost location and you know that. If we'd have wanted comfort, we'd have all been politicians. Abdul al-Badawi. What can you tell me? I assume you remember him. Al-Badawi. Born May 22nd, 72, in Islamabad. Five foot six, green eyes, ten stone, or at least he was. Top flight PhD from Oxford in banking and economics. Believed to have been radicalised by a Darius agent in 99, whilst Badawi was working at the Bank of China. Left three years later due to money laundering. Nothing proved. He dropped off our radar after that, until 2014, when he was spotted with a man on our red list in London. Miss anything? The outcome? It was a bloody smoke hunt. Chief gave the green light. We chased. Badawi vanished. Some say you let him go. Who says that? And you were ordered to drop it. Badawi is the only man who contacts Darius directly. He's that bloody senior. If Darius falls, it would cripple every terror plot they've got. Fuck them back to the Stone Age. You were at high risk of being turned because we failed to rescue a man operating light years beyond his brief. They escaped. How? They left me for dead and I didn't bloody die. How many from our networks made it home? None. But now we have one of theirs. Badawi. How? Quite simply, he arrived at Heathrow, gave us his real name and waited. And he's asking for me? Yes. Can you do this, Monty? What's my brief? We need to know basics. Why he's here and what he wants. I authorise you to use any means you see fit, but keep him alive. Those are my terms. Agreed? Agreed. I'll have Badawi brought up from the cells. Amber will be your side by side. I've heard you work well together. I object. If you don't want the job, just say so. Good. Now go do it. Hello? Hey Dad, just wanted to check, make sure we're still okay for the first. Oh, we are? Why would you need to check? I just wanted to be sure you still want to be there. I do. Great. Well, not great, like, but great that you want to be there. I know what you mean. Okay, so I'm flying over the third, give us some time, then we can go together. I should be okay for the third, yeah. Should? Y yeah, well, I'm, I'm doing a bit of work. Freelance. Consulting. Office-based. They called me in zero notice. But that's good, right? Very good. Yeah, excellent. Great to keep the old hand in. <laughs> Great. Well, you get back to it and I'll crack on. I've ordered the flowers online. I know you hate doing that sort of thing. Okay. But let me know how much they were and uh, I'll sort it with you. Well, let's go out. Okay, great, yeah. Perfect. Listen, I I've got to go. No, fine. Get back to it. Let me know your flight details so I know where you are. Roger that. Oh, and I'll send you a few selfies if you want. <laughs> yeah, please do. Okay. I've got to go. Speak soon, though. Dad, Mum would have been so proud of you. I've got to go. Speak soon. Daughter? Yeah. Flowers for... Wife's grave. How'd she die? Car bomb. Meant for you? Yes. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Oh, you look tired, Monty. Is that the price that resurrected men pay as they remember that only the living feel pain? Do you remember how we met, Monty? Does your memory still dare to go that far back? You, the violent prisoner with a gift for chess, and me trying so hard to seem fatherly? I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry I couldn't tame Darius for you, old boy, but the man has smoke for bones. And I'm sorry the game took so bloody long. You're not here, Chief. You're dead. I am. Now go tame that bastard. Your face. 
It has healed well, yes? Most men would grow a beard, but not Montgomery. He is a man who understands what scars are for. Why are you here? <laughs> no, no. No, the question is, why are you here? Okay, I'll play. Why am I here? Play? You and I, Montgomery, we have no need of games because we know who the other truly is. When I broke you, I was for the merest moment free. And you, Montgomery, when you broke, you were free. Free of your masters, free of your fear. And there was joy in your eyes. I know you remember. So, you asked me here because you think you know me? No. I asked for you because I let you live. You left me for dead. My orders were to shoot you and I obeyed. In my own way. And I did so because I knew that one day I would sit here and you would sit there and I would ask you to repay your debt. That, Montgomery, is why you were here. What's to stop me from simply snuffing you out? Monty! Be quiet! What then? Your master would never allow you to shoot me. My soldiers are weaponized in the room. We are people born to burn. The backlash from my side would be... Biblical. I'm not famous for following orders. In the shadows, a famous man is doomed. It lasts as long as those names you gave me when I broke you. <laughs> See? Now even your own people fight to protect me. Maybe the confusers because we are so similar. We don't put bombs in civilian cars. That was a mistake. I have asked God to forgive me. Fuck you. We thought both of you in the car, so I made my choice. Don't tell me you would not do the same. I would have told my men to stand down. You forget I've seen you in a way your masters never have. And I know, Montgomery, I know. If you'd been born in my country, you'd be me. What do you want? I want to give you Darius. <laughs> Bullshit. No, no shit. My son. He is fond of men. I've hid it from my people all his life. Even Darius does not know. But now, as a man, my son goes into the world. We both know what my world will do. You think you've managed to keep a secret from Darius? I used to believe so. But now I think Darius begins to see the truth. I've heard rumours. So what are you offering us? I have three cells. They are mine. Only I can activate them. Each has a man and each man has a vest. I will allow you to pick three targets. Allow? Yes, I will allow you this. You're my prisoner now. And yet, you did not catch me. And you were here only because I asked for you. So ask yourself, who is in control of this conversation? You may choose three targets. Targets which your forces could never hope to hit alone. In return, I want to use your resources to down a plane of my choosing. Why the fuck would we do that? Because we can ensure that Darius is blamed for the bombs while I take credit for the plane. My people will finally believe that Darius has been driven mad by his paranoia. And I will be seen as a strong and obvious leader. I will control my people. And you will control me, because you'll have my son. The war will be yours. We'll need proof. I know. So I'll give two bombs before I ask to down the plane. And Darius? And Darius will run. Run to the one safe house he thinks no one else knows. I'll tell you where. Do what you wish. Here is the address where my son is. I expect him to be collected today. What's to stop me from simply torturing Darius's name out of you? 
His name is Abad Nabi. Check your files. You'll find him. Montgomery, I am sorry about your wife. I grieve for all the innocent, no matter where they are born. Welcome back, Monty. I knew you still had the old fire. How long will the checks take? With uh, something of this priority. Hours, Monty. Maybe less. I'll wait. No. Chief says you're to go home. Come back when we call you. I'll wait. You'll obey, Monty. What else is there for men like us? Men like me enlist. If we survive long enough, we end up here. Which war zones are on your bloody CV? Before this, I was a lawyer, Monty. Copyright was my calling, patents and all that. No wonder you talk so much bollocks. Shall I tell Chief you've gone home? She looks like you. Let's go. You'll be safe here, Badawi. I don't feel safe. Do you doubt your father? Then you'll be safe here. It's in full bloom. I have a flower delivery here for a Mr. Montgomery Anderson. If you could just uh, sign here. Thank you for choosing in full bloom. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. Should Good night. Want me to go? No. It's the chief. She wants to see us. With your permission, ma'am. Firstly, we've secured Badawi's son. He's on standard lockdown in Safe House 5. And secondly? Secondly is Abad Nabi, born 22nd of April 1939 in Istanbul, as far as we can tell. His father caught our attention, quite the contradiction. Deeply religious, he made his money dealing arms, sold wholesale to both sides during the war, made a fortune. And when the old man died in 63, the young Nabi took his inheritance and Bought a massive stake in a high risk startup, Bortec, which is China's now. second largest tech company. Bravo. It seems they're also now developing some sort of semi organic processor, uh, patent pending. First of its kind, apparently. That's fascinating. But is he fucking Darius? Bortec was China's 37th largest until 99, when it received unprecedented levels of funding from the Bank of China. All of those loans were authorised by one Al Badawi. Bortec's official charity is Greenlight. It gives aid to war-torn areas, uh, water pumps, medicines, that sort of thing. Officially, they're doing it to receive tax breaks. Now, 
we didn't spot the trick at first, but here's the onion. When we matched the dates of green light shipments against terror attacks, we found that no Nabi backed attack has ever occurred more than one week after a green light delivery arrived in that country. It's not every shipment, of course, it's been heavily randomised across. The Dowie is using a charity to bypass customs. Indeed, he is. In fact, in most cases, the home government fast tracked the delivery. Why wouldn't they? It's still not concrete, Andrew. There's more. There's one last rabbit in the hat. It appears that all of Bortec's business cards are done through the same printers. Their server wasn't well protected, so we took a look at Narby's. And more importantly, his mobile number. We discovered his SIM carries two numbers. One for business use, whilst the other has made copious calls to one other number. The Dowies. This is the most recent picture we have of him. He looks so harmless. It's him. I, I know this man. When I was a prisoner, this man, he, he brought me my meal every night. Barely said a word, just brought the tray in and left. God, one night he even took my chains off so I could rest easier. I thanked him. And I told him my bloody name. Monty. I'm so fucking bloody sorry. No, Monty, we're sorry. We were wrong to retire you. So what? I'm forgiven now. If you want to be. Plane. Sorry, what? Which bloody plane did Badawi choose? This one. Flight PEN 746, Penang to Beijing. Takes off in two days. Sadly, there'll be one Brit on board, but luckily no Americans. I thought we didn't target civilians. We don't. Officially. There'll be wives on that plane. Don't you fucking dare use my own life against me. I'll force you to remember when you find it easy to forget. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm an agent, the same as you. I was never a whore. Enough. Fighting a war with no frontiers against an enemy that wears no uniform and deliberately targets children. A war that we're not guaranteed to win unless we do what the defeated would not. So what? We defeat them only to become them? We become what the world needs us to be. Are there children on that plane? There are five crew members, six businessmen in first, and 61 people in economy. Of which nine are children. We can't! It's out of our hands. The decision's already been made. If Badawi delivers on the bombs, then yes, we will down that plane. So we're, we're targeting children now? This will be the biggest shadow tame operation since records began. If you want out, Amber, say so now. These are three targets. A training camp in Helmand. A house in Islamabad. It's a communications hub. And Abdul Matali Moller. Darius is Western commander and we believe Badawi's brother-in-law. Now Top Brass says we have to hit all three or the deal's off. If we're doing this, I run it. My op. And I want the bloody authority to abort. I thought you might. Top brass have already agreed. Just tell me what you need. Get me his dinner tray. Shall I take your chains off? So you can rest? I knew you would remember. And I wish that you could, but I wear my chains around my heart. Again in this we are the same. So you think you know me? Well, I could have just as easily have killed him that night. Your great Darius. Where is my son? You need Darius dead. But you're too weak to do it. Too weak. So you come fucking crawling to us, swapping masters in exchange for death. Where is my son? We will kill Darius. Back of the skull, point blank. Then they'll put weights in his body bag and sling him in the ocean. He'll drop to a dark so deep he doesn't even know what sunshine is. 
Where is my son? No burial, no rites, no prayers. Just an eternal dark and decay in an unmarked ocean. Then they'll kill his wives and his children and their children. They won't even bag them. They'll just fling them one by one into the fucking fire pit and then the soldiers will piss on their ash. I know. I know all that I've done. Your words are water, but my love is blood and I would let loose all the fires of hell to rage hard across this world before I betrayed my child. Now, where is my son? We have him. Safe? He is secure. Targets? I knew you would pick up them. What problem? No. Abdul in the house in Islamabad. These I can hit within 24 hours. The training camp will be harder. I would need to invent a reason for man to journey there. How long? Three days. Three days for the camp. Are we agreed? Have you ever seen a child burn? Or oh, a mother? A wife? I forgive you, Montgomery. Because I know not what I do. Because in the end, when the game is all plays, we all know what we have done. The blessed are those who still believe in why. What do you believe, Montgomery? I believe you work for us now. So we agreed? We are. I'll need my phone. Alpha team, confirm flight number. Flight number, Papa, Echo, November, seven, four, six. Officials we spoke to earlier suggested that the terrorists may have believed that the Green light. Target destroyed. Hello, Monty. You look alive. I'm so, so sorry. Darius? Darius is dead. 
Helmon bomb was yesterday. Darius ran. We raided. Job done. Did you want to see the feed? No. I assume you haven't been watching the news, but Andrew did manage to prevent Claire's name from being released to the press as one of the lost. I'm sure you understand why. I should go. Thank you for coming. Keep an eye on that one. I will. This hour is the death of all 61 passengers. On Six the businessmen in first and 61 people at in the, the comedy. Site of the crash. Alan? Thank you, Angela. Yes, I'm here at the site where a bomb is believed to have killed all 61 passengers. On Going somewhere? Yes. Give me the flight manifest. What? The passenger list. Get me a copy. Now? Yes, bloody now. Oh my! 61. 60. Bloody one. Zhang Lei, Haruki Yuto, Li Yong. The young Nabi took his inheritance and bought a massive stake in a high risk startup, Bortec. It seems they're also now developing some sort of semi organic processor, uh, patent pending. Can you bring up the patent? But before this, I was a lawyer, Monty. Copyright was my calling. Patents and all that. He used us. He fucking had us all. You, me, Badawi, Claire, all for a fucking patent. But it was Badawi who chose the plane. Andrew's first job was as a copyright lawyer out east. I'd bet both balls he worked for the Bank of China. Odds on that's when Darius turned him. Probably been a fucking mole for years. But then why kill the execs? Surely they'd just bequeath the patent in their wills. Only if the patent has been granted. If the patent's still pending, then the patent will become the sole property of the surviving patent applicants. Shit. Smart man, weak spine. What are you doing? I need you to put Andrew into holding. I'll explain when I see you. Chief. Hello, Monty. I said you still had the old fire. When did Darius turn you? Bravo. Darius always said you were good. High praise. Passenger list, was it? Yes. I always knew that was a risk, but I thought... You thought Claire's the death would be too thick a smoke screen. Yes, I always knew she was on board, but then again, so did you. I should rip your eyes out. You know, Badawi said you wouldn't blow the plane. He said you'd abort. But I knew I could count on you. All this over a patent? That patent is worth billions, Monty. In 10 years time, there'll be an organic processor in every motherboard in the world. But no, it wasn't just that. Nabi had started asking questions about why my name was on the patent, so he had to go. I just chose three targets we were going to hit anyway, and Her Majesty's government kindly agreed to pay for the plane. Why, Andrew? The money, Monty. The oldest answer there is. It's over, Andrew. For some. Goodbye, Monty. I have to run. Motherfucker! Chief? Chief's gone. We have to go to her. Chief's gone. But Andrew's not flown yet. Andrew could be anywhere in the city, under any name. No, I know where he's heading. What? Where? Safe house five, but are we son? Let's go. I'll take the front. You go around the back. Clear? Clear. Andrew! 
It's over, Andrew. Only for one of us, Monty. You know I can't let you leave here. <laughs> of course. We can't have the great traitor controlling our enemies now, can we? But no, I really must insist. It seems like I've rather run out of friends. Why am I not dead, Monty? We need him alive. No. They, the herds of Whitehall, they need him alive. You, Monty, need something very different, so the question remains. Why am I not dead? Freeze! I wonder if you can do it, Monty. I wonder if you still have the belief to shoot us both. One more dead. One more life given for the great game. One more dead son sent to meet a dead daughter. He has to live. I know. Breach at Safe House 5. We require immediate medical assistance. Sir, all our senior commanders are assembled. Just as you ordered. Excellent. We have so much to do.